I'd heard that lots of people went for days or weeks without talking to anybody, which really bothered me. And I was in the centre of Brighton, and I got talking to a big issue seller, and I realised that he had lots of opportunities to talk to people. So I was wondering how on earth I could give everybody else that opportunity. And I eventually came up with the idea that cafes were a safe and comfortable environment. Well, cafes have an assigned table with a stand where people can sit if you're happy to talk to other customers. It's really for everybody, whether you're alone, with a friend, child or, or a carer. So we're just trying to link people together, build community and get people talking. We've got 40 cafes at the moment, but more are joining all the time. And we have a spread right from Portslade through to Rottingdean. Uh, a range of cafes to suit everybody. There's um, internationally or nationally known ones like Marks and Spencers and Starbucks, but also independent cafes, community cafes, and we've got cafes in the hospital as well. I was really excited when I heard about the project because I think that if a project like that's going to work, it's going to be in a city like Brighton, you know. We're all about community. We are so ready for that. So I thought, fantastic, it's a no-brainer. We're definitely doing it. I think it's, it's just the sentiment of it, the fact that we are actually reserving a space in particular for meeting people and saying, yeah, it's okay. It's okay to talk to that person across the table. And it's quite healthy to, to do that. And so it kind of like gives that permission Cafes are the central hubs of communities now. And, um, you know, because we're having fewer um, community spaces like libraries and things like this. And I, I feel that one of the most heartwarming things that I have seen is that people make friends here, you know? And, uh, and they, they, they get to know each other. Table talk helps to kind of underpin that whole ethos that I already had about the community cafe. We are a community centre and the cafe is very much part of that, but we don't really offer any community engagement within the cafe. So the idea just seemed to really resonate with what we're about as a, as a centre and as a charity. Um, and it just seemed like the perfect location and the perfect relationship really. We have a really wide range of customers here, which is one of the exciting things about having the project because we have loads of foreign language students, we have loads of older people, loads of business people, charity workers. We've added some conversation starters to the side of our, of, of our little plaque on the table, so that really helps to kind of facilitate conversation, but also just people like really are excited by the idea. They think it's a really sweet idea um, and it moves from table to table like throughout the weeks and stuff. So we have it out all the time and it, it moves around, which is lovely. I think what the project does is just kind of remind people to be social um, and remind people that we're not all living in a bubble. I think really that humans are really societal and personable and actually we are nosy and like finding out about other people. Create a space where it's accepted and kind of almost assumed that you're going to integrate. I think that's a really, really positive project. I mean, it's so good for well-being, isolation, loneliness, but also just if you're having a bad day or a good day, it's just really nice to be able to share that. So yeah, I think the project's fantastic. I think Table Talk has a very exciting future. The aim is to make sh table sharing an option in all the cafes. Uh, we're going to increase the number of cafes across the city. Together, let's make Brighton Hove a talking city. Mm -hmm.